Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slim Nexus here, bringing you guys some more Pokemon Showdown Live. It's been a while since I've done one. Um, I think like since spring break was the last one I did one. But yeah, I'm like completely brain dead drained from doing exams all week. I have like two more exams tomorrow and then I'm done with school. But I decided why not do some short PS Live. Um, I may sound a little bit tired and I may sound like worn out and like my battling may not be as well because I'm like... It's like so early in the morning right now, it's like, uh, it's like what, 9 o'clock right now? And like, I came back from exams and I did it at 6 to now, so like, I have not gotten like little to no sleep last night, but I actually aced them. So, yay! So this summer is going to be a lot of cool uploads that I'm going to be doing, it's going to be really cool. Alienware laptop and Blue Yeti, so I'm thinking like, <laughs> YouTube fame status coming soon? <laughs> I'm not too sure, but um... Yeah, I got this really weird Enu team that I was building, and as you can see, I built it just now because like it's just so horrible. Um, I just did a little bit of modifications to it, so um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got some hard hitters. It's got a Choice Scarf, Metatite, obviously, because I love Metatite. Bayleaf is a really good wall. Same with Grumpig. Bayleaf, Grumpig, and uh, Marowak Core is pretty good. I like it, but um. I'm thinking he wants to lead up with his Golurk going for the, um, I'm thinking he just wants to lead off with Golurk, so I'll lead off with my Meditite, as he does lead off with Golurk. So I'll just go for Ice Punch straight off the bat. I'm thinking that I can take uh, any hit from him, but I know he wants to just set up the Stealth Rocks right away, and he will not go for the Shadow Punch right away. So I'm hoping he does do that, but this guy's just going to be one of those guys that's taken a while. Can just take his time, you know, buddy. Go ahead, take your time. All right, so he finally made a move. He just goes for the stealth rocks, and you can see from that ice punch damage that did a lot of damage. Um, I'm thinking he wants to come out the samurai now, and I don't want to mess around with samurai. But uh, so let's just go out to Bayleaf here, predicting him going out to samurai, as he does go out to samurai. So now I want to go the Giga Drain because you know samurais are annoying, and if you sub samurai, I'm screwed. So I'm just going to get a Giga off, get some HP back from him. 51%! That is easily going to kill him next round. But I'm going to predict him to switch out. But hopefully not Scolipede, but he comes to Magmar. So I'm for the Toxic. Oh man, we are doing too good right now. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just go straight out to Flareon, because we got Flash Fire. He doesn't even know that. You don't even want to mess with this. Choice banned. I stress why I'm not running... Uh, guts. I meant to run that, but... Ooh, skin hit really hard. Alright, let's just go for a flame charge. Because I don't think... Yeah, he doesn't have any flash fire. So let's just go for a flame charge. Um, <laughs> sorry about, like, the black effects I was doing there, but, like, damn. I just... That was good. But, um... Yeah, he's one of those guys. It's gonna take his time. Go ahead. He comes with the Golurk. That's fine. Choice being a flame charge from the flash fire, please. It's gonna easily destroy anything. I want him to bring out Samurai. Please bring out your Samurai. Okay, he comes out to Scolipede. Not too sure if I can outspeed him, but I do! My lord, Flareon. You were just amazing. You were just amazing. He's gonna come out to Gardevoir here now. I'm still just gonna stay and go for the Flame Charge. I forgot that he also... He carries that ability which Trace... Trace! And... Flareon's Reign of Terror has ended. But he did end up leaving... So, <laughs> oh man, Flareon, you just destroyed him. That was a great match. So let's just find another match. And hopefully we can find one soon. And we did. So, alright guys, sorry about that interruption, but my dad called me. So let's get back into this. Another guy with a Golurk lead. Or, um, Bastiodon lead. So he is going to lead off with Bastiodon. I'm not really too fearful of him going out into Golurk, to be honest, but then again I might be, so I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch instead. That brings him down to a sturdy, so that's good enough. He comes out to the Stealth Rocks now. That's, that's okay. I feel like he wants to leave this guy around still. I'm not too sure if he does, but um, sweet, we gained a hell of a lot of points for that. But um, I'm not too sure, maybe he might want to leave this guy around for Death Fodder, I'm not too sure, I'm just going to go for the safe Drain Punch, and that is going to be able to take him down and knock him out. So, looking pretty good right now. I'm really loving this team. The diversity of it is just so... It's so, like, PU-ish, you know? 
it's really so like PU-ish but I'm like blunt on the PU tier so I don't know what's in it but he's got this huge threat that comes out here Braviary that's like doesn't even matter oh you're a physical wall look at my brave bird look at that oh my god the bravery is not to be messed around with so I'm not too sure if Ampharos outspeeds it but um let's go back out to Meditite and let's just go for an ice punch because I do think we outspeed it if he's not scarfed bah! he scarfed as well so uh, I really thought he was banded for some reason okay so yeah we're fine we're fine we can just go for the T-Bolt we can just go for the T-Bolt or not because he's scarfed and can probably damage us greatly but um yeah, he comes up to his Electros. I really don't know why. I really don't know why. But uh, I'm just going to go for the Focus Blast here now. Hopefully I hit the Focus Blast. Because I don't want him setting up with coils, and that could be really bad. <laughs> I love people who do stuff like this. Oh my lord. But I get the Special Defense Drop, and I hit the Focus Blast. That's a hell of a lot of damage. It doesn't even matter if he wants to get all that back. Thunderbolt did 33 before. So before, without the special defense drop, it would have dropped. But he's going to come out to Golurk. He made an amazing prediction. Um, let's just stay in and go for the HP Ice, because we outspeed. Unless he's like some weird scarfed Golurk. And that's going to be able to take him out! Ampharos, you're really taking the limelight here right now. I know you want to come out to Brave Area. I know you do. So he does. And I don't know why I didn't go for the agility when he switched out. If I could have killed him with a crit. So I wish I would have done that. He goes for the return. Right now, this thing is the largest threat. Him and Mantine have just become the largest threats right now. Uh, Mantine, I can deal with this, so I'm definitely going to sack off my Flareon here. Hopefully, I can take a return and knock him out with a Flame Charge. We can only hope. We can only hope. We can only hope. Yeah, let's just go for the safe Flame Charge. You know, but this guy just wants to be the usual guys and just, you know, take his time. So that's fine. Go ahead. Take your time there, pal. It's alright. But I didn't even need a pause for that. He's just going to switch out straight off to Mantine. So yeah, as you can see, he really does care about his Brave Area. And he relies on it a little too much. Um, let's just come out to our Grumpig here. Because Grumpig absolutely walls this guy. And I'm hoping we don't get the burn. That's good that we don't. I want to go for the Toxic. I really do. And I feel like he's just going to switch out into his uh, Arbuck, predicting me to go for the Toxic. So I'm going to go for the T-Wave as he comes out to this guy. So that was really poorly done, but then again, he can take my hits. This guy's like... These things are pretty decently bulky in a way. They can be if they want to be. But that Psychic isn't even going to kill, and that T-Bolt did nothing. Absolutely nothing. So he's, I think he's going to leave it in to die because that would be the smart thing to do. I don't know why you would even want this thing still around. And it's a dead Electros. So right now, the only threat that poses to us is Braviary. And I really wish we would have gotten rid of this thing. This thing is too scary. Way too scary. But um, yeah, we can keep getting recoil on him. If he keeps going for Brave Birds, which I want him to do, Bayleaf can take a return. He goes for the U-turn. Okay, now he's going to come out to Arbuck, because why would you not want to come out to Arbuck? If he does. So let's just go for the Leech Seed. Hopefully he misses Gunk Shot. And he just goes straight off for the Coil. Threat alert. That's like mind-boggling in my head, Threat. Um, too bad I don't have, like, um, Body Slam. I'm just going to stay in, but he gets the Gunk Shock off. Gunk Shock off. I mean, he gets the gunk shot off. It's really unfortunate. Um, I could just go for a psychic here now. I don't think he outspeeds me. But he has the sucker punch. Alright, so we did lose this match. It was really fun, though. It was really close. Really close match. But I just like using this team, so let's just go for flame charges. But he's got the earthquake, so that's a good game. Arbuck pulling in that revenge kill. So, we're like 9 minutes... I'll do like a 14 minute one, yeah. But look at this team. This team is powerful. This is a powerful ass team. His walls are not that good though because they all are like weak to fighting in water. Except for him, but you know. Um, so I'm thinking he wants to lead off with Probapath, so he does. Let's straight off just go for the Drain Punch. I don't see Probapath carry T-Wave anymore. 
So I'm fine with going for the Drain Punch. As he does get back to his 30, he sets up the rocks because I don't have a Rapid Spinner, so that's always good. Uh, regardless, I'm going to go for the Drain Punch because, you know, yeah. And he did stay in, so most times they do stay in when you want to do that. But um, now I'm thinking he wants to come out to his Golurk, but he comes out to Combuskin. Why? Combuskin's like a special attacker. Most that I've seen, but he wants to get the speed boof off. <laughs> speed boof. Speed boost. Let's just go for a T wave and cripple it. But he makes an amazing prediction. Oh my lord. I'm hoping he's not sub sword dance. Um, I'm hoping he's just sub three attacks, but he's just gonna go for that again. So he's probably sub baton path and he's gonna baton pass it out to his pincer. Because, uh,. Combuskin really can't touch me. But now that I see the Swords Dance, I'm like freaking out. I'm really freaking out. Um, he's definitely going to go for a fire move here, so I'm going to switch out. Cannot risk that. Hopefully he doesn't predict that and go for a sub. Oh my god! Drop it like it's hot. See that joke? <laughs> Funny? No? No? Let's just go for a Body Slam. Because Paralysis... We didn't even get the paralysis. That was so pointless. His flash fire, I put it to waste. I should have gone for um, the uh, what you call it. But now nah, I think he wants to T wave. I think. Now we just go straight off for the earthquake. <clears throat> He's definitely banded. I see nothing. I think he is. Maybe. No, I think he's expert belt. Oh my. That's interesting. Let's just go for the giga. Get that heavy damage off. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Don't get a crit, or like, he'll kill us. But Giga Drain's going to kill next round, hopefully to switch it to Articuno. And I get a crit. I don't think it mattered, because I was in overgrow range, so it would have done a little bit more damage. Um, this thing is a huge and monstrous threat, probably predicting a switch. So I'm just going to go for the Toxic, but no, he just plays it safe. He just plays it safe. So, I'm going to come out to my Flareon now, because I don't think he carries Hurricane. I did see Life Orb, so he might, but... The chances of it hitting a slim to none. But he's one of those guys that's like, I'm going to hit that hurricane out of the rain. So that was really, really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. But now I'm just going to go straight off of the high jump kick. Hopefully he doesn't come out to his goal. Like he lives at the smallest sliver and hits the hurricane again. <laughs> oh my lord. I, li I really need a meditate, but I can bring this back, so it's okay. It's okay. He's got physical attackers. Marowak is going to absorb in this limelight. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for the Earthquake because I don't want him setting up. But I, have, I carry Boomerang instead. Bone Meringue. That way, like, people like him, when they carry the sub, boom, I get a damage off like that. So he's probably really reliant on now attacking this time. Because why? Or he carries Baton Pass. He's one of those guys that carries Baton Pass. So I could have gone for the Stars Rocks and predicted that, but I'd rather not. Look at that Flare Blitz doing nothing. Please. Marowak, lay the beat down on this guy. I'm not even carrying Thick Club. That's how powerful this is. So, I'm not carrying... He goes for the Dynamic right away as I go for the Swords Dance. And I'm hoping he does not have, like, Ice Punch. And that I can get a heavy hit off with the Bone Ring. But, um, I live it. Hopefully I don't hit myself. And I get a heavy hit off. And I even get a crit, so... Yeah, Marowak really wants some limelight. He wants some attention right now. He really wants some attention right now. <laughs> but uh, let's go out to... <clears throat> My voice is like drying out. Holy shit. But let's just go out to Ampharos and go for the Hidden Power Ice. And then I think if he's not Scarfed, we might have won this match. Let's just go for a Thunderbolt. As he is Scarfed, because that's like... Messed up. At least he's not locked in to like... Um... At least he's not locked into X Scissor or not. He's expert belted. That was a shock, but that was a really close match. Good game. Good game. I don't even care that I'm losing these matches because they're like really fun to do. So I'll get like one more off and then I'll we'll just call it a day. So as usual, he carries a Leopard. Not as usual, but he carries a Braviary. Alright. That's a threat. He carries Float Cell. That's a threat. Alright, this is just like but Ampharos, I think you want to grab that limelight, do you? He's going to go for the... He's this, this guy is definitely going to go for the Rain Dance. I mean, hello? Look at this water-reliant team. Please. I hope. Hopefully you hit the Focus Blast, Ampharos. I know you can do this. I know you can. 
but he carries the assist and goes for fly? What? That's not gonna do... Why? Now he just got himself... Why? Why? I'm not even gonna question that. <laughs> okay, I'm not really gonna question that. That was weird. Why? Assist? That's only cool on Skitty. Not this 5th gen crap. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't think he's gonna make a move anytime soon after being paralyzed. Buddy, take your time. Alright, so he made a move. I went for the agility, but I forgot to unpause it. But he went for the assist again. I don't understand the reasoning in that. I really don't. And he keeps going for it, too. Um, what's going on? Can someone tell me? I'll just get off another agility zone and, like, outspeed everything. It's doing nothing. Does he not understand this? <laughs> like, oh my lord, I have never seen something as weird as this. Does Fly get the paralysis? I don't think it does. Can I, like, not miss the... I'm not even going to risk it. Let's just go for T-Bolt. Seriously, because this is, like, bullcrap. I outspeed everything on his team. Please, can I just, like, kill everything now? I wanted to hit a Focus Blast off, but I've hit every Focus Blast I've tried. That's three Focus Blasts. That's just crazy. But again, he's going to take his time, so he can have fun. Alright, so he made a move, and that Thunderbolt is going to kill him regardless, so I probably should have gone for that. Could have saved some HP. But, um, I basically outbeat everything on his team. Unless he's, like, a Scarfed Waylord. Other than that, he could have Aqua Jet, but nope. Look at this. Elect a Ampharos. Ampharos. Just Ampharos, Marowak, and Flareon. Just really, they wanted some limelight, and they're getting some limelight. Look at this. Look at these overrated threats. I mean, these underrated threats. Like, can somebody establish this? Dive? What? Okay. Why did this guy have such weird stuff? That'll kill me. Okay, good. He paralyzed himself. I'm loving how they get him first turn static, too. Ampharos. I've found a new respect for you, I really have, but he just forfeited, I don't blame him because I would have swept him, and yeah guys, all I'm going to do here for you guys today, I hope you enjoyed this amazing team, and until then next time guys, leave a like if you want to see some more Pokemon Showdown live of any tier really, and until then guys, take it easy.